Hey guys, what's up? Cam here again. And today's question comes from the Ask Me Anything thread that I have going on on Reddit right now in the Stop Gaming subreddit. And the question is about whether or not you can play games in moderation. And this is a question that I get all the time from gamers who I think are more or less experiencing anxiety about whether or not they're go going to be able to play again. You know, maybe you've identified as someone who gaming isn't really a positive thing for right now, but you want to know, you know, in the future, are you going to be able to play or is this something that's going to affect you forever? And this question has certain dynamics that I think are important to understand. Um, I've written a lot about this online and, and I'm hoping to share more about it. Uh, so first, I want to address those who fall into the camp of, you know, maybe you've recently quit and you're feeling anxious about whether or not you'll be able to play again. So for you, I think it's really important that first, before we make any decisions about whether or not we're going to play, that we reach, let's say, like a 90-day detox. I think a 90-day detox is really important for our brains to just recalibrate to the type of stimulation that we get uh, from, you know, you could say real life versus games. Um, and also for your brain to rewire itself from the dopamine release that you get when you play games. And so, you know, first of all, no matter what camp you fall into, we need to get to 90 days. And we're getting to 90 days before we make any judgments whatsoever. So that's really important. The next piece is that yeah, for sure, at some point in your life, you'll definitely be able to game again. I don't personally believe as much in putting a specific time limit on it, other than getting to 90 days before we address it. But, you know, really, you're gonna come to a point in your life where now that gaming is a healthier relationship, you can game. And I play chess, uh, it's a game I love, and, and it's a game I, I really enjoy, and there's certain reasons why I think chess doesn't trigger me as much as, say, playing Call of Duty would, which I've tested in the past. But what we really want to understand, I guess my third point, is really we play games for specific reasons. So again, this isn't about games. This is about why we play games. And so our anxiety comes from whether or not we're going to be able to play. But the key, no matter what, if you're going to successfully quit playing video games, is to get back to a place where you're fulfilling the needs that gaming has fulfilled for you in the past, temporary escape, they're social, you see constant measurable growth, and they're a challenge, and you find those in other activities. Because what you're gonna find, or at least what I found in my experience, was by finding those in other activities, such as for me, DJing, traveling, starting my own business, developing a social circle that's outside of gaming, doing these things, has caused me to actually not even really miss gaming. You know, I still, it's nostalgic for me. I still enjoy the time I spent playing games and look back on it fondly and, you know, still enjoy playing a game of Madden here or there with, with friends from back home. But really, when you find those needs in other activities, you find you're not as drawn to games as you would think. And that really comes back to my point, which is it's not about the games. So. If you're in a position where you found those activities and other things, or those needs, sorry, and other things, you'll be able to game and that's totally fine. But most importantly, first, we need to go 90 days without games. I think that's crucial. And then we make sure that after those 90 days, say we're feeling really great and we're feeling productive, there's no reason to have to go back to games. If we're really focused on finding those needs and other activities, and really developing better goals and, and more meaning in our lives, more purpose in our lives. And if we do that, and if you do that, I imagine you'll find something very similar to what I found, which is games really aren't as big of a story as I think we can feel in the moments when we've just stopped playing because now we're doing other activities and we have different direction in our life and, you know, it's all good. So. Here I am on, uh, I'm not sure what beach this is. I'm driving right now from LA to San Francisco for the day. And then tomorrow I'm gonna drive to Seattle. And so I was just driving and I found a, a cool spot. Looks like this beach is pretty popular. Uh, I'm near Santa Cruz, California, 
but yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. And if you have a question, make sure that you comment in that subreddit forum, uh, sorry, the Stop Gaming subreddit in the Ask Me Anything thread I have going on. I'll link it below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. And if you know any other gamers who are struggling with this type of stuff, definitely let them know as well. All right, peace.